Thank <laughs> you.
Please join us in welcoming the distinguished members of our platform party. Ready, ready. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, new COVID guidelines adopted by New York State tell us that if you are fully vaccinated and feel comfortable, you may remove your mask. For all others, we ask that you follow the guidelines and keep your masks on. Good afternoon. My name is Richard Larson. As president of the Stony Brook University Senate, I am honored to formally open today's ceremony. Here now, in the presence of the candidates for academic recognition, faculty, administration, alumni, honored guests and friends of the State University of New York at Stony Brook, our commencement ceremony is hereby convened. Please rise as you are able for the singing of our national anthem that will be led by Heidi Schneider of our Department of Music. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet o'er the land of the free and the home of the Please be seated. It is now my distinct pleasure to present to you the president of Stony Brook University, Dr. Maury McInnes. Applause 
Welcome to all present today at this historic commencement. Welcome to members of the faculty and staff, to the parents and friends of our graduates, and above all, to the graduating class of 2021. It is my pleasure to introduce someone renowned for his extraordinary service to the state of New York. Although he's a Brooklyn resident, he has been a tireless advocate for Long Island and a close friend of the Stony Brook family, United States Senator Chuck Schumer. Hello, Stony Brook. This is Senator Chuck Schumer, and it's my honor to address the faculty and staff, the families and friends of the graduates, but most of all, you, the class of 2021. Everyone says your senior year in college will be the most memorable. And for many of you, it probably has been. The challenge of these moments are truly unique, but so has been our collective response. The fact that we're still celebrating this graduation just goes to show that New Yorkers won't let anything stop us from honoring what's so important in life. Nothing can take away from the fact that you've earned a degree from such a fine institution of higher learning. So class of 2021, my message to you is simple. Right now, it may feel like the future is uncertain, but don't let the harshness of this past year prevent you from seizing new opportunities. And we need your help and your courage to rebuild our country even stronger than it was before. So to the graduates, I say once again, congratulations Good luck, Godspeed. Thank you, Senator Schumer. Thank you for being with us virtually today to join in celebrating this remarkable commencement. Graduates, I can feel your excitement. Today marks our return to in-person commencements. We are celebrating scholars who have persevered and even thrived during remote and asynchronous education. And we're able to do so alongside the friends and family who supported them all the way. And that is something worth celebrating. So I'd like to begin by leading a round of applause first for all of our guests here who have been integral in our graduates journeys. So graduates, please stand and give a round of applause for your friends and family. And now friends and family, it is your turn. Let's give a big cheer for the class of 2021. I'd also like to acknowledge Chancellor Jim Malatris, whose presence today is especially significant as he is the first SUNY graduate to also be Chancellor of the State University System. Chancellor, thank you for your continued support and for celebrating with us. <laughs> Graduates, you may be seated. Graduates, you have learned and grown more in your time in university than anyone could have predicted. On this momentous occasion, let us reflect on the qualities that will forever distinguish our Stony Brook University class of 2021. Stony Brook is a place of community between disciplines, students, staff, and faculty, and neighbors and partners across the world. During their time here, our students make vital connections, friends and mentors who will buoy them personally and professionally for the rest of their lives. In a year of physical distancing, 
our class of 2021 learned different ways to collaborate and connect. You had to reorganize your home lives, prioritize health, maintain friendships, and adapt to new modes of learning in the final year of your journey. You also had to find community and connection during global upheaval. It was a daunting task. Yet time and time again, your class met this challenge with positivity, ingenuity, and hope. As the state worked rapidly to care for patients and fight COVID-19, our students ran test sites, provided medical attention, and used their knowledge in medicine and healthcare to keep our community safe. I am inspired by the way today's graduates have used their individual skills and interests to support one another. I am proud to say that with the leadership of the class of 2021, this year Stony Brook University was able to conduct 29% of its classes fully in person and keep all of our resident students on campus without any significant outbreaks. That was a remarkable achievement. Also in the last year, our nation has made a step change in acknowledging past and current systemic racism. Students of the class of 2021 were on the vanguard in demanding racial justice and working to promote equity and inclusivity within their own departments and organizations, even in times of exhaustion. As the class of 2021 sets out to make its contribution to our society, I cannot imagine a group of students more capable of moving these conversations into action. In times of strife, we will look to you as a constructive voice and positive energy towards a better future for all. I recently had the opportunity to see the incredible art made by our graduating seniors on display in Zoo Care Gallery. Much of their work reflected the longing of isolation and the emotional extremes of the past year. But significantly, it was clear that these gifted artists had found great beauty in unexpected spaces. They had found real human connection in their art, and this is indicative of the kinds of emotionally complex, mature perspectives that will forever differentiate the class of 2021. In times of tumult, I know that we can turn to you for creativity, beauty, and perspective. Class of 2021, your unparalleled experience has given you a wisdom that was unimaginable just 18 months ago. You are leaving Stony Brook with lived, firsthand knowledge of the human condition and all of its foibles, nuances, and possibilities. I submit that this commencement has unrivaled symbolic value. The world is opening up and you are joining leaders in a new world with new possibilities. It thrills me to see the class of 2021 embark on its next steps. As you join Stony Brook's more than 200,000 alumni across the globe, we want you to stay connected to Stony Brook, engage with our passionate community, and consider this university a second home to celebrate all of your achievements. Your track record is singular. You've graduated under unmatched circumstances, showing grace, determination, and resilience in the face of adversity. Your talent and experiences will make an indelible impact on this world. You have seen the unexpected and pernicious challenges that life can deliver. And already, the class of 2021 has met those challenges and has never stopped learning. For years to come, we here at Stony Brook University will look with admiration at your demonstrated strength, your proven compassion, and your earned wisdom. 
congratulations, class of 2021. It is now my honor to introduce the president of the undergraduate student government, Asna Jamal, for a special presentation from the class of 2021. Congratulations, class of 2021. I am Asna Jamal. I am the president of the undergraduate student government, and I'm excited to present this year's senior class gift. In the 2004-2005 academic year, the class representative and the dean of students established the student giving campaign, which allowed students like us an opportunity to give back and show our support for Stony Brook. Over the years, students have raised hundreds of thousands of dollars to fund meaningful initiatives on our campus. They have supported scholarships, student life, advanced the reach of the university's research and service missions, and helped to restore communities during times of need. Under the leadership of the Senior Legacy Council, the class of 2021 mobilized to continue this important tradition. As a result of their leadership and vision, many seniors have contributed to this year's class gift. You can identify these super sebos by the red and black generosity cords that we are wearing today. I would like to take this time to recognize my fellow executive council member, Jolena Podolsky, who has also helped with the efforts to push this initiative. So Jolena, thank you so much for your good and important work. As contributors, we are not only helping to leave our mark here at Stony Brook, but are also demonstrating our citizenship to the world and taking the first step in becoming active and loyal alumni. President McInnes, as the USG president, I am excited to report that the senior class has again raised several thousands of dollars to support the Stony Brook Fund for Excellence, general scholarships, the Student Emergency Fund, Student Life, the Scholar Center, and many other important parts of our university. We hope that our contribution will allow us to leave a lasting legacy to the university and community. To my fellow graduates, thank you for contributing, and I look forward to seeing you at homecoming on October 23rd. Congrats, Seawolves. Thank you, Asna. I'm very pleased to be able to report that the class of 2021 raised over $25,000, and we are so appreciative for the hard work and dedication to Stony Brook. And now I'd like to introduce this year's student speaker, Kiara Arias. Kiara from New York City is, a, is graduating with her degree in political science, as well as minors in journalism and media arts. She has been a highly engaged and trusted student leader at Stony Brook, serving as the Director of Diversity and Inclusion Affairs for the undergraduate student government, a resident assistant, and a digital journalism teaching assistant. She has also completed marketing and communication internships and served on several university committees focused on student engagement. After graduation, she will intern with the American Civil Liberties Union. Please join me in welcoming Kiara. Hello, Stony Brook graduates. I'm Kiara Arias, and just like you, I'm proud to be part of the class of 2021. I'm grateful for the opportunity to share a few reflections with you, our undergraduate and graduate students, celebrating this milestone today, both here in person and virtually. When I think back over my four years at Stony Brook, the first word that comes to mind is unforgettable. We've interacted with and learned from so many diverse people from all across the world through our classes, clubs, and campus events. We spent many late nights studying, hanging out with friends, sharing our life stories, and having fun. We've been mentored, challenged, and supported by Stony Brook's faculty and staff to be our best. We've been cheered on by our parents, family, children, and loved ones. We've developed important leadership skills that'll take us far in life, We've taken part in some of Sony Brook's best traditions, like Roth Regatta and Midnight Scream. And we've had to explain to our family and friends back home, what's a sea wolf? Part of our collective experience is that we all have faced challenges along the way towards earning our degree. We've worked hard to achieve success, but we've also overcome obstacles. During my first week at Stony Brook, September 3rd, 2017, in the late evening to be exact, the residents in Simpson and I faced a short-lived challenge. That's the night the lights on campus fizzled out. People panicked, but the RAs, always ready, handed out glow sticks in the hallways and urged everyone to remain calm. While we were thrust into darkness for a short time, the lights soon returned and our lives went back to normal. 
While this is only a momentary test of our resilience, it foreshadowed the significant challenge we would all face a few years later. In March 2020, the COVID pandemic affected everything in our lives and many people in our campus community experienced uncertainty, loss, and isolation. But as sea wolves always do, we again found light by working together, taking one step at a time, and never giving up. Through it all, we learned that whatever we're confronted with, whether it's a blackout or a pandemic, we're unstoppable. Our time at Stony Brook has been filled with so many great experiences surrounded by incredible people. Stony Brook has given us the space to chart our own path, make our own mistakes, help us be comfortable with the idea of not being perfect and given us the confidence that we have the tools to be successful. As we look to the future, I encourage us all to continue finding beauty in the ordinary little things. And when we do this, all moments become memorable and we'll find ourselves smiling even on our worst day, giving our lives a whole new meaning. Congratulations, class of 2021 graduates. We made it. Now, please join me in welcoming Stacy Joffe Gropak, Dean of the School of Health Technology and Management to begin the presentation of today's doctoral candidates. Good afternoon, everyone. I am honored to recognize the accomplishments of our candidates who have earned a doctorate of physical therapy degree. Putting a graduate who has completed the requirements for a doctoral degree is a symbolic academic ritual that celebrates many years of study. It is an important and significant moment for graduates, their faculty, and families. I invite President McGinnis and Provost Goldbart to join me as our candidates come forward to be hooded in the presence of this assembly. At this time, I would like to invite Professors Christina Burke, Joanne Cesaro, Nancy Krish, James Pierre Glaude, and Susan Miali to please come forward to hood the candidates. Now joining us, the Doctorate of Physical Therapy candidates, Alexandra Marguerite Ambrosio, Stephen Arcidia Kono, Melanie A. Bernaco, Brett Birnbaum, Kristen Margaret Mary Bohan. Will the faculty please hood your candidates? Daria Bistri. Andrew Kakamo. Richard Cambria. Elizabeth Ann Kasparian. Kevin Chang. Will the faculty please hood your candidates? Zachary Chang, Hannah Corliss, Connor Daly, Kiara D. Doriso, 
Regina DeVita. Will the faculty please heard your candidates? Colleen Dunn. Stephen Thomas Eggleston. Carissa L.F. M. Padrado. Sharif Anoni. McKenna Elise Esper. Will the faculty please hood your candidates? James Forbes. Sienna Frank. Jillian Page Galindo. Sarah Gebhard. Trinity C. Grasso. Will the faculty please heard your candidates? Melissa Guckian. Catherine Gutleyberg. Jason Henriquez. Felix von Hansen. Connor Hesselberg. Will the faculty please hood your candidates? Wong, Jacqueline Olivia Hughes, Christian Sundy L. Ikalina, Panye Jabahari, Saranj Kapoor, Will the faculty please heard your candidates? Caitlin Kazarian. Caitlin Kazarian. Allison Lorda. Daniel Lee. James Lee. Will the faculty please hood your candidates? Tyler J. Lemza. Ming-Chi Lee. 
Megan Loberg. Grace Ann Lopez. Matthew Mariah. Will the faculty please hood your candidates? Matthew Marino, Samantha Ann Maselli, Erin Catherine McGiff, Vera Miganova, Ryan Milano. Will the faculty please hood your candidates? Bashi Miriam Miller, Gabriella Mitchell, Catherine Morgan Murphy, William Leo Murtaugh, Sarah Ann Narain. Will the faculty please hood your candidates? Alicia Nicosia, John Park, Ariana Grace Patricki, Sarah Puris. Will the faculty please hood your candidates? Ashna Raza, Janine Weimer, James Rudolph Ruggiero, Jorge Abel Sanchez Pena. Will the faculty please hood your candidates? Emily Catherine Schlicht. Rajal Shah. Victoria Lee Shimkes. Harmon Humphrey Silva. Jesse Stallworth Smith. Will the faculty please hood your candidates? Catherine Spurniak, Morgan Staden, Anthony Treglia, David Usher, 
Robert Vanny. Will the faculty please hood your candidates? We would like to invite Stony Brook alumni Eileen Dunn to come forward to hood her daughter. Julie Weidler. Quinn Wiedemer. Kristen Yanarella. We show you Erin Patricia Egan, will the faculty please hood your candidates? Well, congratulations to all of today's DPT candidates. Good afternoon. I'm Paul Goldbart, and as provost, I'm honored to present to you our master's candidates. The master's is an advanced degree, signifying the acquisition of specialized theoretical and practical knowledge beyond that required for a baccalaureate degree. Master's graduates must demonstrate advanced analytical skills, complex problem solving, critical evaluation, and independent scholarship appropriate to their chosen fields. Will the candidates for master's degrees please rise? <laughs> President McInnes. It is my honor to acknowledge the accomplishments of these candidates. <laughs> candidates, please be seated. As provost, I'm honored to present to you our undergraduate honors uh, candidates who are graduating today with distinction. Degrees with distinction are conferred upon candidates who have completed at least 55 credits at Stony Brook, have letter grades assigned to at least 80% of their coursework, and attain the requisite GPA in their program. The levels of distinction are cum laude, graduating with honor and representing the 85th percentile of all students. Magna cum laude, graduating with great honor and representing the 93rd percentile. And summa cum laude, graduating with the greatest honor, representing the 98th percentile of all students. Attainment of a degree with distinction is indicated on each of these students' diplomas and on their permanent academic record. Will candidates graduating with distinctions cum laude, magna cum laude, and summa cum laude please stand and be recognized? <laughs> President McInnes, 
It is with great pride that I present to you this year's honors candidates. <laughs> honors candidates, you may be seated. Please welcome back Dean Gropak. Thank you, Provost Goldbart. I would like to also take this opportunity to acknowledge our deans, chairs, program directors, faculty, and staff who are joining us today. Please join me. I'd like to extend a warm welcome to our degree candidates, their families, friends, family members, as we gather today to, to mark these joyous and celebratory occasions. It is indeed a momentous event today, being able to celebrate your hard work, accomplishments in person after more than a year of challenges and uncertainty. To be able to stand here with all of you today is a wonderful milestone and reminds us how important our School of Health Technology and Management family is. I speak on behalf of all our faculty and staff when I say that we are so very proud of you. The last year of your studies have been, to say the least, quite challenging, presenting obstacles in your academic and personal lives, forcing you to change course in order to adapt and continue to meet the demands of your studies, your home lives, and much, much more. However, as you walk across the stage today, hold your heads high and take pride in your achievements. Meeting challenges head on with purpose and grace is what you carry forward on the path to becoming excellent healthcare practitioners. As you continue on your journey, hold true to the innate reasons why you chose to become a health professional. Take note, take not only the, the knowledge and information you've learned in your coursework, but also remain loyal to your spirit of helping others. Continue on with the ability to be flexible and creative. Carry on with tenacity and dedication, which has played a vital role in your success in your final year of study at Stony Brook. Despite the quickly changing landscape we've experienced over the last few months, your persistence and determination will lead you beyond graduation, paving the way towards your professional goals of excelling as a healthcare professional, providing outstanding care, demonstrating compassion and caring, patience and tolerance with a commitment to your patients, clients, and community members. Continue to challenge yourselves, be innovative, creative, and seek opportunities for growth. Once students, now alumni, you will always be part of our SHTM family. We encourage you to stay in touch and keep us, keep us up to date with your professional and personal achievements. It's our hope that you'll continue to have a presence in our school and offer your support to our students and programs, whether it's by, by acting as a mentor, serving on a school committee or panel, providing a lecture, or helping us with our philanthropic efforts. As an alumni, we appreciate your voices and ideas and recognize that you are integral in our mission, vision, and continued success. So to all of you, from all of us in the School of Health Technology and Management, congratulations 2021 degree candidates. We wish you much success and a lifetime of health and happiness. President McGinnis, it is with great pleasure I present, for this, I present to you this year's candidates for the degrees of Masters of Science and Bachelors of Science. At this time, I would like to invite Dr. Ken Kachansky, Senior Vice President of the Health Sciences, to come to the lectern and, and thank him for his many years of dedicated support to the School of Health Technology and Management. Dr. Kachansky. Thank, thank you so much, Stacy. Let me add my welcome to President McGinnis, Chancellor Malatris, Provost Goldbart, University Senate President Larson, Dean Gropak especially, family, friends, and most of all, the class of 2021 of the School of Health Technology and Management. 
It's my great privilege and honor to express my heartfelt congratulations to all of you today, the 800 graduates of three different bachelor's programs, five different master's degrees, as well as a doctorate, as each of you now step forward into one of the most honored and important societal roles that exist today, the privilege and responsibility of being a healthcare professional. I would also like to congratulate Dean Stacy Gropak in her second year as Dean of the school for successfully navigating the challenges of the past year plus of pandemic, medically, educationally, and with service. And I thank Dr. Gropek for the honor of speaking to you today. A man walks along a road, comes across three bricklayers. When asked what he's doing, the first bricklayer replies, I am laying bricks. When asked the same question, the second bricklayer answers, I'm making my living. When asked what she is doing, the third bricklayer steps back looks up and responds, I am building a cathedral, the big picture. As we emerge from what has been the nightmare of the COVID-19 pandemic, knowing that everyone at Stony Brook pitched in, including in large measure the faculty, staff, and students of the School of Health Technology and Management, the importance of each of our roles has never been more clear. The phrase medicine is a team sport has been the key to our success in the Cathedral of Medicine. As but one exemplar of where the school stepped up, consider the program in respiratory therapy. At University Hospital, one of the most daunting personnel shortages during the height of the pandemic was for respiratory therapy. Unprecedented numbers of Stony Brook University Hospital patients required mechanical ventilation, and the program's faculty and students stepped forward in a major way. So much so that the rate of survival of intubated ICU patients at Stony Brook was twice that of all of our neighboring hospital systems. In addition, when it was uncertain whether we and all the surrounding hospitals would be able to secure sufficient ventilators for all those intubated patients, members of the school's faculty and students along with colleagues in the School of Medicine and the College of Engineering, stepped forward and in the 10 days conceived, designed, fabricated and tested in large animal a new mechanical ventilator should the need, be, should the need arise for patient care. While many or most of the community at large would just as soon forget the past pandemic ridden 15 months, and while we mourn for those individuals who succumb to the virus and grieve with their loved ones, I consider the past 15 months as Stony Brook's proverbial finest hour. And as but one final example of how Stony Brook responded the way an academic center should respond to a healthcare catastrophe, in order to improve patient outcomes, consider that if you search the phrase Stony Brook, and COVID, you will see 180 unique publications in the medical literature. We clearly step forward to study this pandemic. Also consider that the data commons and analytic environment we created to learn all we can learn from the near 20,000 individuals we saw who were considered to have COVID-19, about two thirds of whom we treated will fuel scores of additional insights and now serves as a model by which the NIH is bringing together data from 70 academic medical centers. Let me now turn to what I believe all of us in medicine have in store by illustrating how modern health technology is impacting medical care across the nation and right here in Suffolk County. Along the way, I hope to share a vision of how our successes today portend great things for medicine of the future. One innovation in modern medicine is encompassed in the term telehealth, but telehealth is far more than chatting with a patient on Zoom or Teams. 
Devices are now available that non-invasively monitor heart rate, respiratory rate, gait, speed, and pattern, electrical patterns in the heart, blood glucose, sweat electrolytes, stress hormones, and lactic acid, to name but a few. And the future certainly holds many, many more. And with Healthcare IoT, an acronym I first heard of on NPR but had to look up, the information of things. Bringing together all this device-derived data to establish patterns of health and disease, it would appear we are in the midst of an explosion of new devices and scads and scads of data to analyze. Perhaps one terrific exemplar of such innovation and the merging of about 10 different healthcare professions is found in mobile stroke units, of which Stony Brook supports the only two on Long Island. When a 911 call comes into any emergency operator in Suffolk County and the symptom complex could represent a stroke in progress, one of our mobile stroke units is dispatched and a near complete evaluation, including performing and interpreting a head CT scan is performed in the patient's driveway, allowing the proper triage and appropriate medication to be started safely and immediately. Since our program started, over 2,700 patients have been so evaluated, saving hours in getting the right care at the right place at the right time for a large fraction of these patients, leading to far better patient outcomes. Continuing with one such stroke patient to further illustrate the future of health technology, should evaluation reveal a large artery obstruction because of a ruptured plaque, Careful study can lead to the fashioning of a specific scent for that patient's unique anatomy, greatly improving the success of the stenting procedure. And what would prevent the plaque or stent from provoking more blood clotting? The prototypical drug to prevent stent-associated clots, abciximab, was created using monoclonal antibody technology by a Stony Brook University faculty member, Dr. Barry Collar, many years ago. I suspect many, most, or even all of you have passed by the signage celebrating the Barry and Bobby Collar Learning Center outside the Health Sciences Library without knowing of Barry's contribution to healthcare. Well, now you know. My point is that there are at least 10 different healthcare professions likely contributing to that stroke patient's successful outcome. Emergency medical technicians, physical and occupational therapists, physician's assistants, clinical chemists, radiology technicians, nurses, physicians, and several others, each armed with ever-improving devices and technologies. As I mentioned at the outset, medicine is a team sport, and all members of the team help create the cathedral of modern medicine. But for all this technical burgeoning prowess comes a responsibility. I implore you, don't lose sight of the fact that all of this is designed to improve human health. That is, each time you apply your technology, new ventilators, new biosensors, new mobile CT scanners, new devices to improve tissue recovery from injury, each of these technological advances are applied to a person, a person who is fearful, a person who often does not fully comprehend their or their loved one illnesses, a person who responds to uncertainty by thinking the worst, along with having to deal with the tremendous anxiety amongst her or his family members. While health technology continues to march forward, sometimes at dizzying speed, the technology should help us as healthcare professionals, but not substitute for our humanity Medicine is both a science and an art. I implore you, practice both. Take the time to be the professional that not only administers novel therapies, but one that communicates the what, the why, and the how it works. There is no such thing as over-communicating when it comes to patient care. Live the phrase lifelong learning, and I hope, like me, you will be mesmerized by the impacts. When asked about the presidency, George W. Bush was quoted as saying, 
It's hard work. Sometimes you have to work Saturdays. Yeah, he really did say that. And to the class of 2021, I say, serving as a healthcare professional is hard work. Sometimes you have to work Sundays. So I encourage all of you to work hard following your passion because leaning in to one's passion is not hard work at all. It's a life well lived. Recall what Michelangelo said, the greater danger for most of us lies not in setting our aim too high and falling short, but in setting our aim too low and achieving our mark. And finally, a quote from another famous and wise personality of our age, I truly hope that you all live long and prosper. Bravo, School of Health Technology and Management Class of 2021. It is now my honor to invite President McGinnis and Provost Gobart forward today's presentation of our candidates. Joining us, the Master of Applied Health Informatics candidates, Princess B. Echiame, Nadine Boachiansa, Melanie Nicole Boselli. Rock Yu Cho, Kelly Chen, Shelly Chen, Kojo Danso, Sarah Juliet Freeman. Caitlin Godberson. Danny Huang. Michael Lamb. Wen Ting Lin. Christine Lee, Samantha Mastronardi, Joshua Mathai, Julia Merkling, Bradley Montesino. Lisa Angelica Santos. Alexandria Scala. Daniel Velez. Gregory Wong. Pei Lin Zong. Now joining us, the inaugural Master of Athletic Training candidates, Presnell Dalmias, Jasmine Davis, Sterling Escato, Joanne Cusina, Matthew Messick, Cedric Murthol, Hannah Palo, Savannah Peters, Chow Yang Chu, now joining us,
the Master of Medical Molecular Biology candidates, Nicole Colvany, Jamelia DeFeo, Afton Renee Hughes, Ramesh Paneru, Richmond Mabeza Serafika, Meishin Shi. Now joining us, the Master of Occupational Therapy candidates, Ashley Ayner, Shannon Rose Armstrong, Samantha Bobier, Alana Basile, Pamela M. Canales, Catherine Carmonica, Caitlin Casey, Samantha Cavallero, Queen Fang Chen, Richard Chin, Tamar Cohen, Gabrielle Cooper, Samantha Kutner, Rhea Das, Trizan Habrandiras, Catherine Delante, Olivia Dudek, Amanda Gaynor, Samantha Gdansky, Eliza Gold, Kristen Goldstein, Catherine Carbon. Adrian Kilgan, Christina Colbrin, Alexandra Lequi, Darby Liston, Nicole Laureus, Alexandra Marco, Melissa McLaughlin, Saba A. Min. Erin Miller, Kristen Motisi, Nimra Oves, Ayushi Parani, Christine Ragolia, Michael Roth, Christina Romano, Brittany Julia Rondon. Montana Christy Rising, Abigail Sherman, Kathleen Sherwood, Alexis Simpson, Joanne So, Francesca Tati, Demetria Totten, Bethany Trippy. Megan Trusa, Rena Varogis, Amber Walters, Derek Wegner, Amanda Weiss, Sarah Wilhelm, Kaylee Wiley. Now joining us, the Master of Physician Assistant Education candidates. Marissa Balbo. Alexandria Bretz. Rachel Elizabeth Conti. Olivia Pauline Einig, Alexa Nicole Giuliani, Elisha Grace Gomez, Catherine Z. Hatzianis, Caitlin Hill, Kitman Ho, Olivia M. Ho, 
Amanda Ayacometa. Amanda Irizari. Matthew Caldway. Marissa Canestran. Stephanie Kramer. Cindy Lamb. Witty Lee. Colin Limbach. Madison Miller. Huyen Nguyen. Marie, Mia Robusto. Justin Michael Roseman. Saba Saber Toroni. Alexandra Sal Sedo. Santiago Emilio Sanchez. Jessica Capueo Noni Long Silva. Annalise Page Slack. Liana Elizabeth Tamborella. Kaylee Toth. Bridget Tatiana Vanagas. Evelina S. Bartonians. Andrea Wolf. Sammy Wu. Now joining us, the Master of Post-Professional Physician Assistant Education candidates, Jennifer Castelli. Amira Bean. Samantha Canavan. Ryan Page Chow. Cum Laude. Caitlin Iserman. Caitlin Graziano. Noemi Guerra. Sunjana Guraswamy. Yan J. Joe. Ashley McLean. Monica Road Rodriguez, Magna Cum Laude. Kaylin Thomas, Summa Cum Laude. Quinn Tran, cum laude. Jakob Trawale. Linda Vu, summa cum laude. Abdul Wahid. Camille Whitehorn. Valeria Wu Chen, cum laude. Caitlin R. Zambrana, summa cum laude. Benjamin Zhang, magna cum laude, clinical laboratory science candidates. Now joining us, the bachelors in health science candidates, Maram Abdel Hamid, Fahad Abdu, Jamil Abdul Karim, Smolanda Adam, Antoinette Anne Marie Afriye. Gloria Ajakum. Ira Tamiwa Akamo. Sharaf Aladin. Sylvia Amanula. Stephanie Amaya Rivera. Alessandra Catherine Amico. Shahira Amin, cum laude. Geneva Amuns, cum laude. Tess Andrade. Anju Antony. Ann 
Angela Apicella, summa cum laude. Baldwin Araujo. Nicole Artoglu. Bahia Azimi. Kimberly Bakia. Jamie Barbarino. Sudeep Barua. Nakia J. Bashan. Farwa Batuo. Samantha Benjamin. Kaylee Berlamon. Daniel Joseph Best, cum laude. Fatima Rashid Bhatti. Laura Basono Medina, summa cum laude. Sarah Bornstein, summa cum laude. Shauna Janine Brambo. Brian Brown. Christina Brown. Janiah Blanchard. Genova Brown. Natifa Brissett. Kai Brown. Kyla Brown. Shanice Brown. Shannon Brown. Rachel N. Bunk. Anya Burke. Victoria Caban. Brianna Caitlin Cabrera. Aliyah Canty Winfrey. Yachin Chow. Brianna Capricino. Joa Corellis. Shannon Corney, Daniel Cassidy, Paul Catalano, Melissa Cavis, Angelica Mercado Celis, Kaylee L. Chavez, Kameli Chen. An Chen, Melissa Chen, Sarah Chen, Leo Zhang, cum laude, Catherine Chong, Julie Chu, Fahima Chowdhury, cum laude, Sabia Chowdhury, summa cum laude. Ali Chu. Brandon Chikurda. Samantha Serenjoni. Jacqueline Klassen. Andrew Coletta. Eric Cologne. Ali Conti, Isabel C. Contreras, Letty Diana Contreras, Joseph Cook, Shirley Chrysostomo, Giselle Cuevas, Edwin Kong, Samantha Solowski, Kimberly Dang, Michelle Darkey, magna cum laude, Jordan Day, Teresa Eileen DiFilippo, Gia Chi Dang, Andrea Nicole Desjardin, 
Isaiah Alec Dickerson, Paul DeMarzo, Emily Dolce, cum laude, Eamon Abbas Dora, Kate Eisenberg, James Orante, cum laude, Jose Escalante, Vanessa May Escalante, cum laude, Litzy J. Escobar, Arco Esposito, Laurent Estevez Gonzalez, Emily Ann Fazano, Lynn Fang, Gina Ferrara, Sealy Fiajigbe, Ciara Rose Flournoy, Lorenzo Francisco, Richard Fulcher, Ashley Gallardi, Angelica Galliano, Melissa Gallo, Sharon Garcia, Damie Garcia, Valerie Garcia, Julia Goronska, cum laude, Peter Janeo. Junior Humberto Flores Nieto. Aisen Yang. Kiana Godley. Kippy Gonzalez. Kayla Goodman. Caitlin Goodman. Krista Goodman. Eric Grant, Crystal Greco, Georgia Gray, Iris Grimma, Anna Guo, Pooja Hadler, Sadaf Halimi, cum laude, Jihe Ham, Megan Emily Hama, Lori Davis, Skylar Hasek, Corinne Heed, Juliana Hellum, Ivette Hernandez Bonilla, Alejandra Herrera, Brian Alexander Hinch, Emily Page Hogan. Alyssa Hussein, Matilla Hossein, Jia Shin Hu, Andrew Huang, Gloria Huang, Daniel Hurwitz, Adam Imperial, Syed Inchal, Abbas Iqbal, Warissa Islam, Alexis Ivans, Jaron James, Rubia Jatan, Sayeda Sabine Jelani, Ashley Jimenez, Christy Johnson, Summa Cum Laude, Marquise Johnson, Brandon Danielle Sin Joyce, Miguel Jewell, Odia Kaba, Rachel Key, K. 
Kiana Kerstetter. Hazma Habib Khan, summa cum laude. Mariah Akila Khan. Faye Michelle T. Co. Alaha Marwa Kwaja. Zhu Yan Allison Kim. Rebecca Valerie Klein. Kyle Kopchinski, cum laude. Nicholas Kralik IV. Jennifer Kostanovich, magna cum laude. Natalia Ladino. Gabriella Lambertucci, cum laude. Ruby Landestoy. Megan Lee. Brianna Leonardi. Tracy Leroy. Yan Zhao Lee, cum laude. Brenda Liang, summa cum laude. David Liang. Joyce Lin. Vincent Lin, cum laude. Jennifer Liu. Sally Liu. Sharon Liu, cum laude. Julia Lore. Hannah Longboat. Amy Liu, cum laude. Samantha Marie Liu. Catherine Lucenti. Ashley Mackey. Marzia Mahamud. Nassim Youssef Mullick. Cindy May. Rachel Malacco. Marissa Mamoliti. Sarah Manon Diaz. Juan De Jesus Manzaron Benitez. Joseph Marino. Diana Marinos. Nicole Jean Mariotti. Sindhu Mateti. Danielle Matera. Jermaine Matthews. Nyasha Matthews. Natalie McCormick. Julia McGroti. Giselle McGuire. Stephanie Mahia. Emmanuel Melendez. Tiffany Mena. Carlos Mendez. William McCourt. Anna Mikhailova. Andre Minueza. Sydney Mock. Selena Musa. Kayla Murphy. Michaela Nave. Patrick A. O'Brien Jr. Michelle O. Ashley Olivia. Giselle Oriana. Julia Ozdemir. Michael, Michael Palazzo. Mackenzie Palmer. Karen Pareda. Preksha Patel. Ridhaiben Patel. Sheena Patel. Krupta Patel. Vika Shah. Yafrehi Paulino Perez. Paolo Pereira. Joshua Panak. Maria Pinto Rubrero. Tatiana Piccion. Isabella Parola. Lauren Pistola. Duran Pulati. Nadia Porter. William Powell. Eshna Prajapati. 
Matias Prondo. Caitlin Pricing Lopez. Rebecca Prashia. Lena Chan. Kiram Romalu. Shira Ramirez. Mark Ravello. Nicolette Elizabeth Renton. Erica Revin. Adonis Reyes. Joshua Nicola Reyes. Ariana Alyssa Ricci. Kamora Richards. Bradley Rivera. Christina Rivera. Ariana Robinson. Jamina Robinson. Omar Rodas. Adriana Rodriguez. Scarlett Rodriguez. Taisha Marie Rodriguez. Josemary Rodriguez. Nazir Rowe. Chase Rome. Alicia Russo. Christian St. Louis. Camila Saldivar Hakez. James Simonis Cum Laude. Dylan Sanchez. Ivan Sanchez. John Carlos Sanchez. Joshua Israel Sanchez. Danielle Santana Cum Laude. Olga Savuk. Kate Scarinzi. Kristen Seeger. Vidi Shah. Abdul Sadiqi. Cum Laude. Mary Seamers. Shayna Silverman. Star Sinea Simpson. Mariella Eliza Singayan. Stephen Smith, cum laude. Catherine Soto. Crystal Yvonne Soto. Lauren Teresa Spielman. John Spezza, cum laude. Amanda Jean Stade, cum laude. Rachel Suzanne Stack. Madison Taylor Steinmuller. Amanda Stoner. Taylor Strong. Rachel Sue. McQuillan Suba. Tamara Sujama. Isana Sultan. Mabuba Sultana. Ariel Sutton. Atif Syed, magna cum laude. Aisha Syed, cum laude. Jaren Tasneen. Alexa Tenrero. Jonathan Theodore. Alita Thomas. Emily Thomas. Titus Abraham Thomas Cum Laude. Alexis Akua Thompson. Kiara Thompson. Callista Tong. Julia Toscano. Makoya Toure. Madison Rose Trebing. Natalia Trojanowski. Summa Cum Laude. David Choi, Elizabeth Tong, Wafa Ula, Zakia S. Ermi, Lysha Valdez, Sabrina Esperanza Vargas, Cum Laude, Sharon Vargas, Blessy Varogis, Codicia Vassal, Alyssa Vero, John Victor, Tatiana Villela, 
E. E. Wong. Kristen Wong. Carlin Wright. Hannah Catherine Wrigley. Jiwei Wu. Megna Wu. Manuel Wu Chan. Malia Yismin. Hamza Yousaf. Rudlin Zamor Cum Laude. Connie Zhao. Ivana Zavala. Suana Zhang. Now joining us, the Bachelors in Respiratory Care candidates. Annalena Caress Alvarado. Rahaf Hussein H. Bhaktawar, magna cum laude. Jatsna Bhattapani, magna cum laude. Gloria Elizabeth Carranza, cum laude. Matthew Chen. <laughs> Tiffany Chu. Felicia Chung. Emily Davila. Magna Cum Laude, Gabrielle De Florio, Jacqueline Johnson, Magna Cum Laude, Alexa Jones, Sarah McGill, Evan Fan, Tamara Looney St. Julian, Carmen So, Amy Swift, Jen Lee Tran, Alessandi Victor Sepeda, Hilton Vivas, Yuan Anwei, Earl Zalea, joining us from biology and sociology, Hamad Har, summa cum laude. We will now call the names of all graduates from home and watching virtually. Suen Ben Ann, Michael Alex, Jose Algarin, Bonita Ampolfo, Colin Armstrong, Christopher Bagliby, Lauren Beno, Andrew Banos, Anisha Basile, Michael Berger, Mitchell Barati. Amanda Bianco, Paul Antwi Boasiaco, Brian Bond, Martina Brave, Riley Brennan, Laura Calisi, Griffin Cambria, Anthony Campioni, Casey Carusos, Allison Carpio Matos, Jennifer Castelli, Alina Chen, Ashley Chinisi, Mengwi Chu, Alyssa Chamela, Michelle Corzipa, Esmeralda Christopher, Lydia Claudia Lara, Katera Coles, Alicia Conrad, Michael Corrado, Michael Conti, Thomas Cox, Tundi Caspi, Jeffrey Dela Cruz, Ariel DeSormes, Melissa Deutsch, Delilah Diamond, Gerson Diaz, Mario Diaz, Gina De Benedetto, Kaylee De Pila, Andrew Eberline, Kyle Lang, Andorra Erdakas, Gianna Forney, Samantha Friedman, Aubrey Frost, Jenna Fruchtman, Justin Fucci, Jesse Gaty, Chen Lin Gao, Shelby Jinong, Angelina Goles, Neil Gordon. Sarah Grossline, Jinling Gao, Yintin Gao, Cum Laude, Taylor Hanlon, Magna Cum Laude, Alicia Hartman, Summa Cum Laude, Amy Huang, Irene Huang, Han Zhang, 
and Rinda Jawahanda. Stanley Jiang, Wendy Jiang, Jai Jian Jiang, James Jin, Miguel Jewell, Christy Khan, Joshua Kappenhaas, Ari Kim, Al Kong, Zachary Kopecki, Adamantos Kotzera, Syed and Shal, Bailey Ayat, Kevin LaCaprisa, Emily Lamb, Catherine Lamb, Aretha Lee, Katie Lee, Anthony Lin, Vivian Lee, Jackie Liang, Xiao Lu Xin, Natalia Lukina Wu, Zhao Lu, oh, William Lyons, Frank Maggio, Jun Sheng Mai, Alexa Manganaro, Jacqueline Marino, Sagan Marshall, Jermaine Matthews, Mariah Mayer, Meredith McCourt, Kristen McIsaac, Sarah Mensa, Mila Mirza, Laboni Mola, Maeve Montesi, Sierra Morgan, Brianna Morris, Matthew Norduli, Orsalan Najad, Matthew Ang, Yusef Noraldine, Adrian O'Kane, Tracy Orellana, Giselle Orellana, Edward Park, Jackie Peng, Brian Peterson, Alana Petrichin, Adam Priest, Jimmy Q, Rory Quinn, Christine Ragolia, Sakiba Rahman, Johnnery Ramirez, Ramirez Feliz, Kiersey Reagan, Brandon Reyes, Giselle Reyes, Matthew Ritz, Adriana Rodriguez, William Ruan, Rebecca Sadiq, Sarah Saggio, Stefan Sahagen, Akita Sarnaik, Kormasa Sawo, Syed Sa, Julia Sumakis, Atif Syed, Magna Cum Laude, Sibylla Talukter, Wena Truong Cum Laude, Borjian Tiang, Wafa Ula, Zakia Ermi, David Usher, Kelsey Weizenen, Doris Wang, Zai Peng Wei, Robert Weinstein, Xin Jian Wan, Shannon White, Delpreet Wilson, Gina Winans, Michelle Wu, Menga Wu, Tafuni Shia, William Yuan, Tiffany Yang, Heiji Yuan, James Young, Zachary Zuron, Amy Zito, Annie Zhang, Henry Zhang, Cum Laude, Yaiji Zhang, Leo Zhang, Cum Laude, Christina Zhang, Helen Zong, and Da Kong Zhao. At this time, I would like to invite all candidates for doctoral, professional, master's, bachelor's degrees, and advanced graduate certificates to rise. President McInnes, these students have met the graduation requirements set by the Board of Trustees. As the representative of their faculty, I am proud to present them to you and respectfully request that you confer upon them the degrees and certificates for which they are qualified. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees and upon recommendation of the faculty, I confer degrees upon all of you who have completed the respective requirements with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. As tradition goes, there comes a time during the ceremony when the graduates are asked to turn their tassel from one side of the cap to another to signify the earning of the degree. You are now graduates of Stony Brook University and may now turn your tassels from right to left and toss your caps. Congratulations, Stony Brook Class of 2021. Please 
please remain for a special alumni message and presentation of our alma mater by the spirit of the Stony Brook Marching Band. Congratulations, class of 2021. We did it. On behalf of the Stony Brook Alumni Association, congratulations to you, class of 2021. Good luck with your future endeavors. Congratulations, Seawolves. I am so, so proud of you. You did it. I cannot wait to see what you accomplish. Go out and conquer the world. I am rooting for you. Flowers to you. Congratulations. Hello, class of 2021. Congratulations on achieving your goal of graduating from Stony Brook University. Congratulations to the class of 2021. You guys did it. Welcome to the alumni family. Hey, class of 2021. You've had to overcome many hurdles this year, but you've persevered and accomplished so much. But don't stop now, this is just the beginning. Congratulations, class of 2021. Congratulations to the Stony Brook University class of 2021. You've endured a truly historic senior year and nothing can stop you now. So get out there and show the world what sea wolves are made of. You're now armed with a great education from one of the nation's best universities. It's time to go out and make your mark on this world, just like the 200,000 plus alums who've come before you. To the class of 2021, congratulations. Enjoy this day. And remember, you're a sea wolf for life. Congratulations, class of 2021. My name is Rob DeBrower, class of 87, and president of your alumni association. Congratulations again, stay connected, and involved. Congratulations, class of 2021. Welcome to the Alumni Association. Congratulations to all our candidates and their families, and special thanks to System Chancellor James Malatris for joining us here today. Please come back soon. Our ceremony is now concluded. <laughs>